Hello. My name is Håkan Rode and I'm uh, head of our educational programs here at the IIIAA. And I would now to like to take five minutes of your time to explain to you kind of the overall setting of our fantastic program. Um, okay, so let's start. Uh, it's our environmental management and policy program. It's the classic one. We've been running it for 15 years. We have 400 plus graduates. Uh, it's in many ways a great success story. It's a two year program, so we have four semesters. The first semester at a distance, part time, you can continue to live your own lives back home. Then we have uh, two semesters in Lund, uh, the fall and the spring semester. And then finally, uh, we conclude with a thesis semester, which starts at the end of the spring. So, and over summer, you write your thesis. You come back to Lund in uh, late September for to defend your thesis, present, discuss, and graduate. That's the overall. Okay, now let's have a look a little bit more of the details of the program. Well, first what we do is that we have uh, the distant block it has, is there to set a foundation. So you know, to learn the basics and get into the whole thing. And uh, we do this by having one course on environment, environmental science, what are the environmental problems that we have to deal with? What are the issues? This is the green part of our program. We then move on to a management course. How does a corporate corporation work? Uh, of course, a little bit with the predominance of the environmental perspective. Principles of technical systems looks into how technical systems actually work. And uh, we look, of course, into energy, water, waste, etc. Mm -hmm. We have economics and consumption. These are core topics, and uh, you'll here get basics in these topics. And finally, at the distance, we have, we have a project where you are allowed to be creative and apply things and have a look at what they could mean in reality. Having done this and fulfilled the distance course, you're then allowed to continue. And in Lund, you then arrive in mid-August. After some introductory courses where we have a look at Sweden and uh, you get to know a bit of the place, uh, he, here you'll also meet the previous year students who will be here and defending their thesis. So it's a nice time for you to network and meet those. We then move on into an assessment course looking at how to measure environmental matters. And this will be dealing with both kind of an LCA perspective. Uh, and also life cycle analysis perspective there, and a cost benefit perspective, so an economics perspective. Those are the two fundamental parts there of this course. Economic evaluation then, of course, as part of the CBA perspective. From there, we come to our two main topics, the two main themes of the program. The two main themes are industry on one hand, and then policy government on the other. First, the industry course. The industry course has three modules. There's a technical one, how to improve the technical systems in industry. There's a managerial one that working with the role of the environmental manager, uh, environmental management systems, communication, reporting. And then there's a product perspective, looking at both the operative side of eco-design of products, but also looking at product as part of a, of a chain. So supply chain management, sourcing of products, marketing, branding of products. So more and more, more of a strategic perspective to the product issue. <clears throat> After this course, you then uh, have a nice uh, opportunity to see how this works in reality. Here we have a, a group assignment where you walk, work together with the company during a couple some weeks and see how they actually solve this in reality a good way to make sure that you really understand things from the, from the reality side. The policy course, starting in the end of the semester, will then look at international environmental law and also will look at economic instruments uh, that are applied in the environmental arena. This course will then bridge over to the next semester, starting in January, and continue and look at uh, international environmental treaties and you'll also have a particular focus on some of our core research areas, climate policy and product policy. After this, there are less classroom hours. 
and uh, you move into more applied work. And here is a, a large task and individual research paper that you'll do on a topic that you choose yourself. You'll be challenged here, of course, uh, because this is in many ways a mini thesis. Uh, and you'll be learning how to do this. And this will be done then uh, together with a um, uh, supervised by a researcher here at the Institute. Alongside here, you have a research method course to work a little bit on the research methods. And then finally, at the end of the semester, uh, there is a large client exercise where we will challenge you in a totally different way. Here, you'll go out in groups of, say, four and work directly for a client, a company or a region or a city, etc. And solve an, solve an assignment for them. After this, you come finalize then all the coursework of the program and then you still only have the thesis project to do. And here, well, thesis project, uh, you do it individually. You typically start thinking about it a little bit earlier to see what's going to do, be your topic, to find the right one. And uh, this will take you through the summer. And then, as we said earlier, then at the end of September, you'll be graduating, receiving your diploma, and then you're ready to go.